In December 2018, President Uhuru Kenyatta launched the ambitious pilot program on universal health care in four counties, Machakos, Nyeri, Kisumu, and Isiolo. And as the world marks World Health Day today, Saida Swale seeks to find out whether the dream is achievable in Kenya. That's right. This story also hopes to showcase lessons from Rwanda that has achieved more than 90% universal health coverage. Peter Como eagerly waits in line to receive his universal health coverage card days after he had registered. This is at the chief's office in Kangundo, Machakos County, one among three others that was selected for the UHC pilot program. Even before he got hold of his UHC card, he could already access free basic medical services at public hospitals using his identification card. Many have come here today not to miss out on their chance of getting their ticket to free medical health care. At the Machakos Level 5 Referral Hospital, the registration process is still ongoing, using their phones in the MTBA app to register the new members for the pilot. For Christine Mweni, she may not enroll herself after questions about where she was born arise. For example, kama ningekuwa natoka Mombasa, ningeenda huko Mombasa ndiyo niende nikaregister huko. It has been over 100 days since the inception of the pilot program in the four selected counties. Experts believe that in order for UHC to work, systemic issues need to be dealt with. And that definitely increases utilization which stresses an already stressed health system because you don't have enough staff, you don't have enough supplies, uh, there are gaps in commodities for diagnostics. You who can afford to pay for your health care, kindly and please, as per the constitution and on principles of equity, please pay. And the people who may not, will never afford, are the people that become first to be sorted out and given this kind of support and facilitation. UHC has been achieved by having those who can afford pay and only subsidize those who cannot afford. Mm -hmm. And that's a sustainable model because you and I do not need to have a free UHC card. We can actually pay for NHIF and access services. Still, there is confusion on the difference between NHIF and UHC cards and what each ought to cater for. It's NHIF was basically the whole insurance, the national, the, the the universal insurance in the country. Sasa you haijakuwa ikifanya kazi. Tunajua kumekuwa na issues. Lakini tumeona sasa imeanza ina inajaribu kuensure kila mkenya ana anapata hiyo uh, basic health right. Lakini of course tunachangia si ati ni bure tunapatiwa. The people who can afford to pay will continue paying into the pool called NHIF. Those who cannot afford to pay, government will pay on their behalf and as a pool we don't always get sick at the same time. Kenya isn't the first African country to attempt to adopt the UHC model. Rwanda set the pace with a system that is almost flawless from the outside. Garamba Ciprié is a village doctor, or commonly known as a community health worker. He has done this job for 10 years alongside two of his colleagues from his village. Rwanda is also a beneficiary of the universal health coverage. But unlike Kenya, treatment isn't 100% free. Eti kila mnyaranda, aweze kwa uwezo wake kujitunza vizuri, aweze uh, kupatiwa nani service nzuri kwa sababu, uh, kuna wanyaranda wenye wana uwezo mdogo na, na wengine wana uwezo mkubwa. Every Rwandan is uh, contributing uh, around four dollars per year and uh, whenever he gets to a health facility to seek for health services, he does pay 10% uh, of the total bill. Healthcare here in Rwanda begins at the grassroots level. Therefore, the trained CHWs would handle the minor cases within the village, therefore reducing referrals to district hospitals and referral hospitals. Kila kijiji kuna watu tatu ambao wana, eh, wanafaa kazi ya kutibu eh, wakaaji, malaria na watoto wachanga, watoto eh, chini ya miaka tano.
also deliver um, some uh, selected uh, family planning methods, uh, namely pills and uh, injectables. So they look after the community and um, can refer to a health center. The lowest level of hospital would be like this one in Rimera district. It serves over 76,000 people offering services such as maternal health care, ultrasounds, dental and even mental health care. Uh, treating non-communicable disease is very expensive. So we are now really focusing on prevention by doing sport, a positive lifestyle and teaching people on how to prevent uh, non-communicable diseases. A little over 90% of the Rwandese people have the national health insurance cover that allows them to seek basic health services in such like facilities. The universal health coverage is so robust such that in this specific hospital, the hospital recorded zero maternal deaths and zero infant mortalities. This was in the year 2018, the preventive approach to health care reaping positive results. <laughs> kila kila mwenye kuwa mimba tunajua tunapaswa kumleta eh, hospitalini 1075 from 2005 and uh, the last big survey that was conducted in 2015 has shown that we were at that at that time were at 210 out of 100000 the 7th of April is World Health Day, but even as nations seek to improve access to healthcare, Kenya will have to seriously take into account lessons learned from the UHC pilot. Primary healthcare pia lazima ikwe prevention na promotion ni ya muhimu sana. Saida Swale, Citizen TV.